Mary at this time, if you can, please rise and join us in welcoming the Lieutenant Governor of Ontario, the Honourable David C. Only, accompanied by Her Honour, the Minister and Deputy Minister of Citizenship and Immigration, and remain standing for the playing of the Vice Regal Salute. S'il vous plaît, vous levez pour l'arrivée du Lieutenant Governor et le cortège Vice Royal, et restez debout pendant le salut du Vice Roi. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present Angelica Di Castro, who will sing O Canada. Mesdames and Messieurs, Angelica Di Castro, chante l'hymne national. O Canada, our home and native land, true Mary in a protocol, you'll hear the 21 gun salutes throughout. Maintenant, vous allez voir 21 coups de canon qui se passent présentement. To the stage, my present the Lieutenant Governor of Ontario, David, the Honorable David Sionni. Je vous présente maintenant the Lieutenant Governor of Ontario. Thank you very much. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Queen's Park and Happy Canada Day! What a pleasure it is for my wife and uh, the Minister and the Deputy Minister and every one of us on stage here to be here and see this amazing sea of uh, red and white out there. Some fantastic hats and flags and t-shirts. Thank you all for being here. Canada is 146 years old today and still growing strong. I just love it to be able to hear the uh, cannons going off in the background. It just sort of reminds us of all those individuals who served our country right now in times of peace, but have also served our country in times of war uh, to give us the freedoms that we have here in Canada, so uniquely so. And you only have to take a look at the news for a few minutes, whether it was this morning or last night, to see all the uh, agony and the violence that's going on around the world of different nations where people are attempting to have what we have here in this country. We must never take it for granted. And that is one of the great things about Canada today. It's a day to celebrate the freedoms that make us Canadian. Over 50 years ago, the uh, Prime Minister of the day, John Diefenbaker, said, I am a Canadian, free to speak without fear, free to worship in my own way, free to stand for what I think right, free to oppose what I think wrong, and free to choose those who shall govern my country. 
So today, Canadians, whether we're here at Queen's Park, whether we're in Ottawa or anywhere else in the country or anywhere around <coughs> this world, are celebrating the freedoms that it is to be Canadian. And we've been doing this here at Queen's Park since 1967, since our centennial year. It's a great tradition and it continues to grow. We have so many reasons to celebrate. We are a diverse people, a people of all races, cultures, and creeds, and we live together in remarkable harmony. So let us remember all of those who sacrificed their lives for our freedoms, all of those who serve in uniform, whether it's in the military, or all those who are in uniform volunteering in hospitals, or supporting our kids in arts programs, sports, and community programs. To all of you who are volunteers, to all of you who make up Canada today, I thank you. You are what makes us unique. Thank you for being here. Happy Canada Day. Now let's give a warm welcome to the Minister of Citizenship and Immigration. Je vous présente le ministre des Affaires Civiques de l'Immigration, the Honorable Michael Coteau. Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Canada Day. Your Honour, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Queen's Park. It is my honour to be here today as Minister of Citizenship and Immigration to welcome everyone to Queen's Park on this uh, beautiful day. This is the 46th year that we've celebrated Canada Day here at Queen's Park, and uh, I am just so happy to be here among Canadians who are so proud to live in such a beautiful country that has values such as diversity and multiculturalism and equity and inclusion as, as something that we, we live for, that we fight for, and that we, we, we cherish closely to our hearts as Canadians. These are the same reasons why my parents decided back in the late 70s to come to Canada. My father's from Grenada, my mother from England. They traveled here to Canada for an opportunity. And I believe that this country, every single person who works hard should have an opportunity to be successful. And that's why we have such a great education system, a great healthcare system. We make sure that we have our programs that take care of our seniors. This is such a great country. Let's give a big round of applause to such a beautiful country called Canada. One of our, one of our greatest prime ministers, Sir Wilfrid Laurier, said, there is no longer any family here but the human family. It matters not the language the people speak or the altar in which they kneel at. And I think that captures what Ontario and what Canada is all about. It's a place where we've come together over 200 different cultures 150 languages together to build a country, to build a province where we know that we take care of each other, we put in place those safety guards to ensure that we move along together, and I'm proud to call myself an Ontarian, I'm proud to call myself a Canadian. Happy Canada Day! Now, ladies and gentlemen, let the celebrations begin! We will start off with the Tribal Vision Dance Group, who will open our festivities with an Aboriginal hoop dance. Le groupe de danse Tribal Vision va débuter nos célébrations avec la danse autochtone du cercle. Good afternoon, or, yes, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Naomi Martin. 
I'm from the Mohawk Nation. I'm from the Six Nations of the Grand River Reserve. And today I have with me Leland Red Eagle. And we are going to be sharing with you the hoop dance. The hoop dance originally comes from the Taos Pueblo people in the southern United States. And it has been shared with different First Nations people all across Turtle Island, aka North America. This dance is a storytelling dance. So you're going to be looking for different pictures of things that I have seen in my lifetime. I will show you things uh, such as different types of animals, different types of flowers. And at the end of this dance, what this dance represents is unity. You're going to notice that as I start this dance, I'm going to not put a hoop down, but keep picking hoops up and adding on. And the central message to this dance, like I said, is unity. So this dance is the hoop dance. Thank you very much. We are a tribal vision. <laughs> 